obviously you've been an entrepreneur since the very beginning. So I feel like you're such a wonderful example as a foil to those people who say porn just victimizes women and it puts them in a place where they can never, you know, um, ever access any kind of other career path or do anything else with their lives. I mean, you're the, the antithesis to that to that idea. So what do you say to people like that who say that like, porn just victimizes women and ruins their lives? Because I feel like you're a great example of the opposite. Well, I do believe that you better be an entrepreneur if you are going to get into the adult entertainment industry, because it is going to be difficult to get a job. <laughs> per se. You have to be a, you have to be able to create a new image, a new brand, a new career. Um, and you can you, you you can't be working for somebody else per se. That can tell you whether or not you can make money. You have to be able to figure out ways, like the DJ, the filmmaking, realtor, you know, all of those different things are kind of self-made type of paths that I chose specifically because yes, I am a porn star and that is going to be um, difficult. And even with some of those other things that I did, people were like, you know, as a mainstream film producer, they're like, Oh my God, do, do like people know. And I'm like, at the end of the day, independent filmmaking is a lot of work and it's really difficult. And if you do your job really well, no one gives a fuck. <laughs> yeah what you did before, you know, as long as you can, you can get the job done. And as a porn star, I was able to pull extra resources out of my ass. <laughs> that maybe we, other, yeah, that yeah. maybe other producers couldn't do. I could say, Hey, I'm Brittany Andrews. Let me use your freaking nightclub, you know, or your restaurant. You know, I was able to, you know, kind of get in there and get things done that maybe some other people couldn't do. Cause I had a little bit more pull because of who I was. Um, and then the DJ thing, you know, um, it's difficult as a female, either which way. Um, so, but you know, I made the best out of that. I wanted to, um, take, I wanted to take it, I wanted to, it to take the place of feature dancing, which is what it did as I got older. Cause I got a bad back as most old bitches do. And, uh, <laughs> so I didn't want to be rolling all over the stage, but but to go back to the victimization thing, you know, I think every human being, both man and woman, once they get into this industry, they have to be uh, very, they have to have a conversation with themselves and say, what do I, what am I willing to do and what am I not willing to do? And if you start pushing boundaries that you're uncomfortable with, then you should step out. And, you know, I think it's really, you know, whenever I find like newer girls, I'm always, I tell them, I'm always here to help. You know, you've got my phone number, call me, text me. I'm always available. I'm always happy to like, you know, give any kind of mentorship because I really feel it's important in the beginning of your career to kind of start off right, because that's going to be the foundation of the rest of your career. And I really feel like if you get a good foundation, you know, that you can grow and have a really long, happy career. Now, of course, some people might get in because of, you know, whatever, some unfortunate circumstance that, you know, or they had, like they worked for a shitty company the first time and it triggered some kind of trauma that they may have had. And the whole thing started off on the wrong foot. Um, then I'm almost like, it might be best for you to just try something else and not continue because, you know, there are so many women in this business that I know that are my age that also are able to look back at their, uh, long career and to see how absolutely blessed they've been, uh, to have the kind of opportunities to live the kind of life that they've lived you know, to be able to take the money, invest it into other businesses. Um, but quite often, you know, those are not the stories that are told, you know, which is one of the things that I liked about um, working on After Porn Ends was they told the honest story. Some of them sucked and some of them were good. You know, mine was a good one, you know, then the next one next to me was not so good. 
but that's kind of life in any any human being. Not everybody's going to have a great path with whatever career that they choose. Um, but there are so many opportunities within this business. If you're a smart woman and you look at it as a business, you can consistently grow in so many different directions that it's like a plethora, a cornucopia <laughs> of opportunities that you can a dive por- into. A cornucopia. A cornucopia, you know, because there's production and everything with production. You can get into lighting. You can get into makeup, a uh, set design, wardrobe. You can go into the tech side of things. You can um, get into becoming a programmer. You can, you know, go into social media marketing. I mean, because you are running your own business from the beginning. Um, You have to have all of, and even more so now than back then, but luckily I'd kind of started doing all my own stuff back then, but you have to, in today's world, in order to be um, a porn star, you have to know how to do all these different things, you know, do your own productions, promote yourself. And, you know, I've always been really good with my bookkeeping too. So I've always, you know, my CPA, oh Lord, (laughs) hired a specific bookkeeper just to deal with me because on my, you know, on my spreadsheets, my profit and loss sheets, my balance sheets, I have to, I have to have everything like color coded in a certain way. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.